Hi, this is Marcus with Bluefish, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a website that we created for a real estate client, uh, Tyler Moxley. Uh, he is out of the Pleasanton Livermore area of California. Um, but anyway, as you can see from this website, uh, we're able to bring in uh, featured properties, and then we have some different sections uh, by neighborhood lifestyle and school boundary, and of course, a blog where he can kind of update his audience on uh, the benefits or the things that are going on in, in those areas. We've also incorporated testimonials um, from, uh, from some of his uh, clients, past clients, and most pages have some mechanism by which people can contact him. Um, and they can also subscribe to get his, uh, e his uh, email newsletter. So the main uh, feature of the website is this featured properties section. And so any of these properties are going to have a multitude of images as well as price, square feet, um, beds, baths, what neighborhood they're located in. Um, and then we uh, gave him, I be believe we gave him this ability to put in these virtual tour, tour capabilities, um, a description, and then we have additional features that, you know, give him the ability to list out even more uh, information about the property, where it's located on the map, so on and so forth. So, and then with the blog, um, we have filters, or these can also be looked at as categories. Um, and when someone pulls these up, uh, there's the, you know, the contact form is right here on the right hand side. Um, the reason why we did this is because he is using Facebook to send people directly to these pages. And so, we wanted some way for people to quickly get in touch with him. So, um, but anyway, going back to the back end of the site. So this is craft. This is the content management system that we're using for a majority of our websites now. And when you get into craft, if you just click on entries, um, you have the ability to view all entries or each of these different, uh, little navigation items will filter down to um, the specific area. So if I wanted to just see testimonials, I could just click on testimonies. And if I want to see the properties, I can just click on properties. Now note that uh, far over here on the far right, we gave him different categories uh, for the properties. And those, uh, those properties that have uh, achieved a just sold status are actually put into a completely different section where he's still getting some of the search engine benefit of having these properties listed. So any properties that he's sold over the last, you know, I guess he's been doing this for almost a decade, if I remember correctly, um, all of those will show up here. And so, um, but just to, just to open one up for, uh, as an example, when you, uh, give these a title. Typically, we've been telling him to put the address in as the title. We all of them keep in mind that all of this stuff has been created specifically for the site. So anything that needs to be changed can, but the, uh, you know, we give them the ability to put in a hero image or multiple hero images if he wants, and then they can uh, kind of randomly pull from the database to, to update that. And that hero image is basically on all of these pages is this section up here where the, the uh, where the community is. Um, and then so we put in an address and by putting in an address that allows us to um, calculate the latitude and longitude, which is how we um, display that map. Uh, so the price is displayed without uh, any commas. And then we can uh, put in a, a status, like I said, status is basically, um, you know, whether it's just listed, pending, just sold, or coming soon, right? Um, the square feet, the size of the lot, the rooms, the bathrooms, um, what neighborhood it's in. We've actually giving, given him the ability to create neighborhoods on the fly. And so if he needs to, he can actually uh, select one of the others. Um, and then, you know, this is basically just a description. And then that additional features that I showed you that's a little bit lower on the page and if he needs to embed a 3D tour, he can put the embed code here. And that assumes that that is actually listed on another website. So you can see that this is, um, you know, this is quite, you know, usable. It, it kind of brings in the information 
um, that you need, as well as this, you know, even the whole system is viewable on a mobile uh, device. So if you were out somewhere and needed to make an update, uh, you could. Um, but let's see, there we go. Um, but you know, it makes it a lot more usable because uh, we're asking you just for specific information. So just by putting in three here or two here, we're actually handling the formatting and, and all the different places where um, that information is being displayed. So whether it's here or whether it's on the home page or you know, wherever it's being displayed, because I think we actually display some of these on the bottom of the uh, neighborhoods as well. So um, as far as uh, blog posts go, yes, I do want to leave because I don't want to save any of those things. Um, if I go to the blog, uh, if I create a new entry, um, you can title it whatever. Again, you have the ability to update the hero image. You can override the title because normally we use the title for the um, you know for the title on the page um, you can change that and use this headline subtext we can um, provide you with the ability to change the summary text which is the stuff that appears here on most of the pages and on the blog page it is uh, it is also very similar um, so you can actually customize that um, then you can add a category much like you would select uh, on the um, on the featured listings page you have the ability to put um, whatever category uh, you might need. Then this is a little bit different than uh, other systems. So in Craft, uh, you know, we have the ability to give you a page layout builder. And so if you need to add some text, you just click on the button and it puts in a little uh, box so that you can add text. You have all of your standard formatting options. Um, most people would look at this and go, where's the ability to put in an image? Well, all you have to do is click on the image, upload the asset. As part of that upload, um, we can give you the ability to uh, float that image left or right, and we'll take care of all the formatting, so the, the margin and padding and stuff like that that need to be applied to that image, as well as the resizing of that image so that you're not uploading an eight megabyte file when you really only need a 600 you know, kilobyte file. Um, you can embed uh, a video. Um, you can go with a two column layout. So this would be the left column and the right column and we'll handle what happens on a mobile device. Or if you have a block quote, you can put in the block quote and the author and we'll actually style that appropriately. The other nice thing about doing this this way is that if you decide, well, I actually want the block quote above the video, you can just drag that by grabbing these four dots over here and move it um, up or down. And if you need to work on the blog posts and you don't have um, you don't have it quite completed, then you can just disable that. Um, and as with most content management systems, you have the ability to post this into the future. So today's the 22nd of January, 2018. If I wanted this to go to live, go live on the 24th, I would just select 24 and I can actually even select what time I want that to go live and it will, um, it will stay in a pending state until that day and time. Um, the other nice thing is we give the ability to change your title tag and your meta description. So title tag is always going to be um, as a default will be the title of the entry. Um, and then if you provide a title tag, we'll replace uh, the title tag with whatever you specify here. Note that we also limit this to 60 characters because that's what Google is currently um, expecting. And then uh, we can allow you to change the meta description much like the, the title tag. So if there isn't one, then uh, we'll just grab the first, you know, 160 characters of the content on the previous page. Otherwise, we will um, we'll replace that with what, what's contained in here. But outside of that, I mean, this is a fairly, um, you know, fairly complex setup from the standpoint of, you know, uh, developing a site, but we try and make it super simple. So, you know, you have channels for the blog entries, channels for the properties, channels for the testimonials. The other nice thing too is if, um, if you want to have a little bit more control over something like the neighborhoods. So he's, uh, he's got Pleasanton in here as the larger area, you know, the, I don't want to say metro area, but the city. And then, you know, all the various subdivisions that are, um, that are in that area. And it gives him the ability to add content for each of these 
um, pages, which in turn increases the ability for him to rank for, you know, say Laguna Oaks in Pleasanton. Um, so, and then one of the things that we do is um, we give you the ability to change the contact info for, uh, you know, for the whole site in one location. So you're not having to update that in, you know, 50 million different places. So we can, you know, give you the ability to update the address, the email address that you want everything sent to the phone numbers. If you have a fax number, if you have multiple phone numbers, you just click on add a row and uh, put that in um, all the various um, social media networks. And if you add, need to add another one, then you just click on the uh, social block and then select whichever one it is and then provide the link um, by hitting save. All that stuff goes uh, live. So it's um, it's been a pleasure to you know develop this in craft because it really gives us control over um, so many different aspects and kind of makes it uh, simpler for uh, for clients to use. So but anyway, I do hope uh, this has been helpful. And if you are currently a realtor in need of a new website, um, then just give us a holler. We'd love to talk.